okay, we have a problem here, and then we have a problem with what are we going to charge for our puppies. So we have two different kind of puppies we sell, and we have two different ways of processing those puppies. So let's go ahead and solve this problem. The first thing we're going to do is get our output, and it says um, provide a receipt that shows, and here we go, number of pu purchased puppy, puppies, puppage, puppies purchased, um, price, I'm just going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it, um, let's go down here and just use this, with already, what I already have, this is the output, alright, so we have a number of puppies, and what I'm just going to do is get rid of purchased, we don't need that, and they also want to see price per puppy, and they want to see processing fee we don't need the per puppy all right and they want the total charge let's see I'm just gonna since a total charge I'm gonna say charge per puppy that makes sense and then total charge so I just take what's already there and then just make it a little bit smaller because we don't want the words to be too big um, I, I might even go get rid of the of just to make it a little easier alright so this is what we need to know or this is what we need to have out that's the easiest part because that's what they tell us alright then we have our assumptions that's the next thing and that's every place we have a, something that's worth or something that's numeric all right, so we can see that we have T cup charge or rate. How about that rate? And that's going to be equal to 300. I don't put the dollar sign because it messes up on my stuff later on. And let's see. And then Great Dane rate equals 500 and and then we have a $10 fee and then AKC, AKC fee so non AKC fee equals whoops 10 and then AKC fee equals 150 all right so now we have that uh, the rest of the assumptions are going to be scope and we'll worry about that later on but you can see there's no other numbers up here so now we have all that done now we have to figure out where we're going to get those output from and the price of the puppy varies by the type processing fee depends on the type charge per puppy is math total charge is math Number of puppies, though, someone's going to have to tell us that. All right, so number of puppies, I'm going to copy, and I'm going to paste that into my input, because I have to know that. And But the rest of this are going to be either, have to go into our calculations logic. So it says calculations, but we can say, you know, calculations slash logic area. Um and now we're ready to go ahead and start from the bottom and work our way up. All right, so how much are we going to charge the customer? Well, that's just going to be the addition of these two charges, uh, the, char the charge per, let's see, the charge per puppy, Or, okay, I see. So one's the processing fee, one's the puppy fee. All right, so it's going to be the processing fee. All right, so total charge is the charge per puppy times the number of puppies. All right, so we're just going to say charge per puppy. And we're going to multiply that by the number of puppies that they want. And again, notice I'm copying and pasting. We always do that to make sure that the names all stay identical. 
All right, so how do I figure out what the charge per puppy is? And that's simply the price of the puppy and the, how much we're going to charge to process that puppy. All right, so that's pretty easy too. That's going to be a, this. And notice I'm copy and pasting. Plus this. Okay, so now I just need to know what the processing fee is and what the price of the puppy is. So now that we're ready to do that, let's go up to the top here. We have to make a decision about price per puppy. So I'm going to say, well, if the puppy type equals teacup, then I'll go down here, my price per puppy, I'm going to assign to that the teacup rate. And again, I'm copying and pasting, make sure it's identical. If it's not teacup, then it's going to be Great Dane, but I'm not going to test to see if it's Great Dane. I'm just going to say else, because if it's not one, it's got to be the other. And here we're going to say the price per puppy is going to be equal to the Great Dane rate, because if it's not teacup, it has to be Great Dane. That's what we call a Boolean. All right, now we're going to do the processing fee. And then for here, we're going to say if process type equals AKC, and that has to be in quotes because it's text. Oops. Then the process fee is going to be equal to the AKC fee. And I'll copy and paste that. And then again, they can either be AKC or not AKC, so this is going to be else. So if they say no to AKC, then the processing fee, and again, I'm copying and pasting, is going to be the non-AKC fee. So we never use numbers down in this area here. We simply reference this. All our numbers are loaded up here in our assumptions. All right, so the other two things I don't know is the puppy type, right? We have to get that from somewhere. So someone's going to have to tell us that. So underneath number of puppies, we have puppy type. And I'm going to put in parentheses what I'm looking for. And that is T cup or Great Dane. Okay, and then the other thing I need to know is processing type. And for this, it's going to be AKC or no AKC. I like to put these here so I know what I'm testing. So you can see teacup and teacup. See, I'm copying. I'm doing the same thing, AKC, AKC. So I want to put this into my prompt when I'm going to code it and ask them teacup or Great Dane. AKC or no AKC, then my default value probably would be teacup and my default value would be AKC. Uh, the last assumptions is uh, only two types of puppies, only two types of pro uh, processing fees, and only customer. So that's it. That's exactly how we do it. And now we're ready to go ahead and change this into a problem state, into a uh, human algorithm, and then change it into that. I'm going to skip the movie on the human algorithm and go uh, right to the flow chart after I've taken out all the spaces here.